Okay, week number 10, Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Podcast Show, live from New York City. We have Max G-Men on the line again for the second time this season. Yes. It's a good habit to have, I have to say. Yes. So, um, yeah, very good, uh, very good week again. Um, hopefully I can repeat it again for the next four or five weeks, because this is crunch time. All right, G-Man, you were finally able to defeat Warbass Inc. for the first time since 2013. And, oh, by the way... Are you enjoying the fresh brewed Yingling from Wisconsin? The delivery of the truck came, uh, I think, three days ago. How do you like that beer? Oh, it's nice and cold. Nice and cold. Very nice and frosty. I just gonna take my vitamin C shot right now. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, doesn't that taste good? The sweet of victory. Yes, it does. That's the taste of victory, baby. G-Men, you've scored 65-plus points three times in the last four weeks. What's up with the team effort? That's what it is. It's, uh, it's cold effort, and it's called stepping up when you need to be stepped up. And that's what it is. It's, it's proven players. Um, when the money's on the line, that's where they step up and they win the game. G-Men, you're 5-5, five and five. you're right back into the wild card race, tied with Will for the fourth seed, he's got the tiebreaker on you, there's four games left, what's the G-Men's plan to make a run for the playoffs, knowing that you don't have your star running back, so other players have to step up, what's the plan? Well, here's the plan. I just picked up a new running back, and his name is Marshawn the Beast Mode Lynch. And that's the plan going forward. Any points that come via Oakland Raiders, via air, I got the ground attack too. If you want to attack me by air, I got car. If you want to attack me on the ground, I got Lynch. That's, that's where it's going. So the ball gets down to the two. When she's getting it, that's my point, baby. All right, there you go. All right, so, Timmy, he's a Facebook follower. He has a question. He's from Florida. Nice and sunny. It's hot. Nice place to live in the off season. He has a question. He's asking you to the G-Men, the 1999 Trash Mouth Champ. What GM... Do you dislike the most? Tough question. Jeez, Timmy. Put me on the spot. Uh, this is the podcast. We don't we don't joke around. We get right to the question and answer session. Come on, it's just trash mouth. You gotta trash talk. Let somebody have it. Okay, he doesn't like the Grim Reapers. A bit of a rivalry developing the last couple of years. All right. I have to say, because you know what? He doesn't respect me. He doesn't even refer to me by my by my name. And by the way, I haven't heard him on the podcast in the last three weeks. Where has he been? Oh, I don't know. I don't think he's had the most points for the week. That's how you get on the show, yeah, right? On the call. Uh, you know, listen, my phone's been ringing the last couple of weeks. So, you know what? I'm getting the call, and he's not balling, so... There you go. I, I, I kind of own him. Uh, I think the last two times I played him, I think I put a 81 points on him at one point last year. And he's still calling me the G-strings. You know what? He might be in first place now, but you know what? One of those losses is to me. There you go. All right, G-Men. This part of the show, in between your sipping of the Yingling ice cold beer from the refrigerator slash freezer that Josephine 
set up very nicely. Josephine, thank you very much for setting up the waiting room for the G-Men. Uh, what's the parting shot for the G-Men? Four weeks left, a lot of football left, but it's crunch time. What's your parting shots? G-Men giving us his barometer of his team. He's making a run, winning three out of four, minus Elliott last week. It doesn't matter. He still put up 65. He's got a game this week, Thursday night. Ben Roethlisberger versus the Titans. G-Men, we thank you very much. Taking time out. You know, you're looking at game film, prepping your team for the upcoming weekend matchup. Big divisional matchup versus the Psychos who's still hanging around, trying to get into that fourth seed. So it's a big week for you and Psychos, but we thank you for taking time out and joining us on the Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Podcast Week 10. Thanks for having me. Hopefully there'll be more.